2020, a year we'll never forget. We hit the ground running by making a commitment to put first things first and be all in for God in a greater way than ever before. To love him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Not some, not part, but all, because we wanted this year to be different. I believe that God wants 2020 to be the most spiritually significant year of your life. But here's the thing about that. If that's gonna happen, if that's gonna be true, then odds are that you probably can't just do what you did last year and expect a different result. The first 10 weeks of 2020 were some of the best we'd ever had. Worship night was incredible. Vision Sunday gave us a sneak peek into the future. We had over a thousand people at Night to Shine, which is a prom that we throw for people with special needs. We were firing on all cylinders. We were growing in our faith, growing as a church, and because of All In, we were growing more and more excited about our future and how God was calling us to make a difference in our city. We knew that we were on the verge of the greatest season we'd ever seen as a church. But we also knew that oftentimes before God does something through you, He wants to start by doing something in you. And then it happened. Pennsylvania's top health official says the state is at a critical point in the pandemic. The great shutdown of 2020 is underway. Reporting from Philadelphia in the swing state of Pennsylvania, where tensions are running high. As you can see, the National Guard is behind me. This man's life matters. Overnight, nationwide unrest. He's going to look and feel different than any other election night in American history. And hundreds of millions of Americans are bracing for the long night ahead. COVID-19. Where do we go from here? Who do you call when it feels like your world is falling apart? Like, who do you call whenever everything is turned upside down and it feels like the problem that you're facing is so much bigger than any one person's answer? Like, what do you do when you don't know what to do and everyone around you doesn't know what to do either? For a moment, I think we all struggled to make sense of what was going on around us. We had a decision to make. Would we stay down and wait? or get up and fight. We knew that even though this crisis would bring some unexpected problems, it would also bring some unprecedented opportunities. And so with God's help, we got up and fought to find new ways of doing church and accomplishing our vision of seeing every person in the city know Jesus. We got up and fought to keep our church family connected by creating the very best online church experiences we possibly could. Easter 2020 was the largest Easter in the history of our church. One of our videos went viral, and from there, we continued to expand our digital footprint. We created opportunities to learn and laugh and worship and grow together, not just on Sundays, but all throughout the week. And God has used this season to help us reach thousands more people than ever before. We got up and fought to serve our city and really care for our neighbors in need. Through fortphilly.com, we mobilized an army of volunteers who served 10,000 hours helping to pack and deliver over three and a half million pounds of food to the most vulnerable in our city. In addition to that, we've raised just under $130,000 to help those that have been impacted by COVID-19. We got up and fought for the dignity and equal value of every man, woman, and child. And we challenged our church to be humble, to love mercy, to act justly, and to be willing to love across our differences and stand with those who are hurting. We got up and fought to figure out a way to best serve and care for families so that we could continue to help set an anchor of faith in the heart of every child. And we got up and fought to stay connected to each other with over a thousand people in groups so that no one had to be alone or not cared for in this season. You see, sometimes God uses a problem as a pathway to his plan, to his promise. So even though this year looks completely different than what we thought it would, we've still seen God at work in homes and in hearts all across our city. Great churches aren't built on the talents of a few. No, great churches are built on the sacrifices and resilience of many. Thank you for not giving up, for not losing heart, for not losing faith. Thank you for serving and caring and giving, and most of all, for loving God and doing your part to share his love with every person in the city. Our future is bright and the best is yet to come.